Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration started the competitive building process for the next generation destroyer of the Republic of Korea Navy, known as Korea Next Generation Destroyer or KDDX. South Korea's two main shipbuilders, Hyundai Heavy Industries and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, are competing, each with their own design. HHI unveiled its KDDX design at MADEX 2019 defense show held last year in Pusan. HHI's KDDX is 156 meters in length, a beam of 19 meters, and a displacement of 6,500 tons. It features an inverted bow similar to DDG-1000 of the U.S. Navy. It also features an integrated mast by Hanwha Systems. In its baseline configuration, DSME's KDDX has a length of 155 meters, a beam of 18 meters, and a draft of 9.5 meters for a displacement of 8,000 tons. It features an eye mast by LIG NEX-1. According to the program schedule, the basic design is expected to be completed by the second half of 2023. Detailed design and start of construction is set to take place four years from now. The German Navy put into service the second of a total of four F-125 class frigates, the Nordrhein-Westfalen. F-125 class ships feature a very high degree of automation, making it possible to have their cruise size compared to previous frigate classes. The ships can remain in their operational area for up to two years. They are designed for conflict prevention and crisis management, as well as for intervention and stabilization operations on a global scale. These frigates have a length of 149 meters, a displacement of 7,200 tons, and a crew complement of 126 sailors. The French Navy, Le Triomphant class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, Le Temeraire, successfully test-launched an M51 submarine-launched ballistic missile in operational conditions. The firing took place off Brittany in western France. The fallout zone was located in the North Atlantic, about 650 kilometers from Puerto Rico. Triumphant class SSBNs are dedicated to the French nuclear deterrent mission. As such, at least one of the SSBN is always deployed at sea. The M51 is France's new generation intercontinental SLBM. Each missile carries 6 to 10 independently targetable thermonuclear warheads. M51 operational range is reported to be 8 to 10,000 kilometers with a speed of Mach 25. The Swedish Navy celebrated the 20th anniversary of the launch of its iconic stealth corvette HMS Visby. 20 years ago, HMS Visby was launched at what was then the Karlskrona shipyard. It's a ship like no other. Its unique shape, of course, is to reduce the radar signature and make it harder to detect. Visby-class corvettes have a length of 73 meters, a displacement of 640 tons, and a maximum speed of 35 knots. Over the next few years, the five ships of the class will be upgraded with new weapon systems. Images from several ship spotters show that the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force's final Aegis destroyer, Haguro, set sail on June 23rd to start its initial sea trials. The images and videos show Haguro sailing out of Japan Marine United's shipyard at Isogo Ward in Yokohama. Haguro is the second and final vessel of the Maya class of destroyers. It's also the eighth Aegis destroyer of the JMSDF. Her keel was laid in January 2018 and she was launched on July 17, 2019. 
Haguro, is expected to be commissioned with the JMSDF in 2021. First ship in class, JS Maya was commissioned on March 19th this year. The new destroyer class is 170 meters long and displaces 8,200 tons. They are capable of ballistic missile defense capabilities.